Welcome to Redbeard and the Den of Tools. Howdy hello there, I'm Red. Welcome back to the Den of Tools. Yeah, I know, we were supposed to do a project video today, but the bear is still not quite completely on the mend. He's getting there, but just <laughs> every time I head towards the shop, oh, I just my body's like, nope, nope, you just sit back down. So hopefully next week we'll be back up and and on a regular schedule. So instead, I thought we'd do something fun. We're going to do today Harbor Freight's top 10 ridiculously expensive tools you probably didn't even know they had. Yeah, it's a convoluted title, but there's just no other way to describe this list of very, very high-end stuff, at least by Harbor Freight standards, that you can buy usually only via the catalog, although sometimes you'll luck into finding one in that's been returned to a store but usually you won't find these items on store shelves but before we jump into that i want to throw out a big thanks to my patreon supporters fred novi jeff dreps charles buckley and james finnell <laughs> forgive me if i've murdered any of your names you know how the bear is with names but guys, I got to really say I appreciate you guys helping out the channel, helping out the bear, and helping me make videos for all you guys. It's a lot of fun. I love doing it. I hope you guys love watching it as much as I love making them. Uh, also, don't forget that, uh, you, know, I, you know, if you can't give a Patreon or that's not your thing, uh, if you want to help out the channel, there's always the, the store. We, we have the bear t-shirts. Uh, I also have... Uh, some other accoutrement over there. We're trying to get some more. Still haven't found the patches yet. I've, as I said, I've been a lazy bear being sick and stuff. But I, I tell you what, I'm going to be getting on the patches here. Toot sweet. I promise you that. But one last thing before we jump into all of that. Remember the, the knife giveaway? Apparently this thing's so bad I can't give it away. Yeah, our previous winter was a no-show. I don't know what happened there, but I never heard back from him. So we had to pull a new name out of the hat. And that uh, person is... Steve ha <laughs> Havener Havener anyway I've already contacted Steve he's got back to me so we have a, room, a winner this time a real winner and I'm gonna Steve I'm gonna be sending that uh that knife out to you shortly thanks again everybody who uh, competed in, in the giveaway uh Steve I hope you enjoy it and as I said I'll get that out to you this week but let's get on to the fun stuff the stuff you came here for number one and the top 10 ridiculously priced cool tools from Harbor Freight you had no idea or maybe didn't. Maybe didn't. I'm sure you try to chew Harbor Freight fans, know all the catalog by heart, but don't spoil it for the rest of them. Most people have no idea that Harbor Freight sells some stuff like this. Anyway, number one on the list, a backhoe. I kid you not. You can buy a towable two-wheel backhoe. You can hook up to your pickup truck or anything else that'll tow. You got a hitch on your Honda Accord, it'll pull it, I'm sure. And uh, you could actually do some serious earth moving with this little device. It's not the most nimble little bugger out there. <laughs> but, you know, for those of us, you know, grown adults who still miss the old Tonka days, you can relive them again with this nine horsepower towable backhoe for only $2,800. Next on the list. Yeah, it's a sawmill. Now this one, uh, it's, you know, $2,200. And what you got here really is just a deluxe size bandsaw on its side and a rail system. And unlike your typical uh, sawmill, instead of the log going through the saw, the saw moves along the log. You lay out this rail system and it, the saw is on rollers and it just trucks down along there, you know, taking off the, a bit of the log at a time or however much you set it to. I, I don't think you're going to get yourself the, the most level of cuts there, but it will cut through some logs. I actually know a guy who has one of these. He's had it for years and he loves it. He's got some property up in the Sierra Nevadas. He cuts his own firewood and lumber he he built a whole extension to his house using one so you know as i said like with many harbor freight items it may not be perfect but it gets the job done number three on the list a scissor lift yeah guys you know if you are trying to make a step up from shade tree mechanic to you know uh on-site service or you know start your own shop 
having a, a good hydraulic lift just can't be beat because, you know, just jacking up a car, there's just some things you can't do. And But trying to buy a real, you know, bolted down, uh, what do they call their pillar lifts? I, I don't remember. But trying to buy, a, you know, a real shop lift, those things are stupidly expensive. But with one of these for $1,500, you can start, you know, competing with the big boys, you know, Buy something like this, pick it up used if you can, make sure it's a good working order, you know, and pocket the difference and save up while using a tool that'll get the, the job done for now. Nine speed vertical milling machine. Now this is one of the ones that most people know about that Harbor Freight has a mill, but you know, most of we usually when they're talking about is that little mini mill that you see over there for $700. This nine speed is, is quite a decent piece of machinery. It's not gonna give you the most precision milling. If you've got to do high-end professional stuff, obviously this isn't the mill for you. But believe it or not, it can do some pretty good detail work. And what a lot of guys do is you can get yourself some stepper motors and hook it onto this machine and turn it into your own CNC mill, which will let you do a lot of really creative stuff. Number five is its little brother, the one and a half horsepower one. Yeah, it's, you know, it's a little bit smaller. It, it won't handle nearly as much, but it's got a, a lot more power than that, that little two, uh, two speed bench top one. And again, you don't usually find these in the store. This is something that's usually by mail order only. Every once in a while, I've seen them as a return item but if you can get your hands on this for $1,200, you can have a lot of fun with that. Number six on the list, some more automotive stuff, is the Autel Automotive Diagnostics Analysis System. Yep, you know, cars these days, they you open up the hood and there's that big plastic cover that essentially says, do not touch. It's not like when I was a young cub and you could, you know, with a, a box of wrenches and, you know, open up the hood and pretty much go to town and fix about anything yourself. These days, you can't figure out what's wrong half the time. They're so complicated with the computer systems they have. And they're trying to force you to take it into the dealer by, by having those complicated computer systems. Well, Harbor Freight's got your back here. For $900, you can tap in and do a lot of the diagnostics for a lot of major brands yourself. As, again, for those of you trying to step up from that shade tree mechanics, you know, to a you know, maybe your own full-time gig working for yourself like we all like to be doing, right? This is the tool that will get you started and get you on the road to future success. Number seven on the list, Predator Generator. Now, I know you're saying, hey, Bear, I see the generators all the time at Harbor Freight. Uh, you probably don't see this one. 13,500 peak, 11,000 running watts. This is the big boy of generators. This is a site generator. You'll see, you know, working on a, on a work site for guys, you know, when, you're, when you can't tap into the grid. In fact, you see that, that bolt there on top? What's that for? Yeah, any of you guys who've been on a site, you know what that's for. That's for hoisting that thing off the ground so it doesn't go walking away in the middle of the night. And that's what this is for, man. You can power a whole bunch of stuff with this thing. There's just, you can run a, an entire job site and from everything I've heard about these Predator uh, generators, they're, they're bulletproof. You know, for $1,700, you can run a whole household off of this thing. If you're a prepper type and you want some real emergency backup, that's your boy right there. Number eight on the list, 1,600, I'm sorry, excuse me, 16,000 max starting 15,000 running watts tractor driven PTO generator. Now, I bet a bunch of you don't even know what the snot a PTO generator is. If I'm not mistaken, that acronym stands for Power Takeoff. Back in the day, you used to be able to take your, 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 uh, your farm truck and go out to a spot on the farm where you were working, park it, put it in a gear, and the linkage coming off the drive shaft would have an adapter like you see there on the, on the bottom, and it would connect directly to that drive shaft and into a device, and they had stuff like post hole diggers. Anyway, you, this is a, a generator that lets you turn your vehicle into an actual generator right there. And there's probably a bunch of different ways you could also connect this, you know, if you had uh, some other form of kinetic power, 
like a water wheel or something else you could connect to this to get power off of it that's a pretty spiffy device for thirteen hundred dollars and something you probably never think about from getting from you know harbor freight <laughs> tractor supply maybe <laughs> but not your local harbor freight number nine the predator engine yeah for those of you regulars around here you know the bear just picked one of these up and you probably also know the bear doesn't know what the heck he's gonna do with it i was thinking about making the world's fastest like power wheel if i could find out what we do with my kids old power wheel <laughs> you see next episode would be how the bear ended up in the hospital yeah you know everyone's seen the vertical uh or sorry the the horizontal shaft version that's electric start and everything else but this is the vertical shaft engine then and it's a tad bit bigger 708 cc that's 22 horsepower guys for a, a small engine that's a lot of oomph in it with electric start for easy handling uh, this thing's made for a riding mower but you could do a lot of things with it you can buy for just over 100 bucks a right angle uh gear drive adapter or drive drive shaft adapter that will turn this into a horizontal drive engine and you could put it in you know a, a big go-kart you don't put it in a little go-kart you flip that thing well i picked one of these up for a hundred dollars yep hundred bucks and I'll be honest, I have right now I have it listed on Craigslist uh, for I think it's like 400 or 350 or best offer or something. Just because I, I honestly, I, you know, I sold my welder recently. I don't have 220 in the shop and it's just going to sit there for a good long time if I can't find another project for it. And I figure better to flip it, make a few bucks with it and buy something else for the shop we can use now. But anyway, if you're in the Vegas area and looking for one of these, I'll get you a screaming deal. All right. And number 10. It's not exciting, it's not fancy, but it is a compressed air dryer. Yeah, guys, you know, you're, and a lot of you scratching your heads going, well, what, what do I need an air dryer for? Hair dryer? No, air dryer. What do you do with this is you run your air compressor through it and it uses cooling to uh, remove the moisture from your compressed air line. Now, why is that important? If you're doing any kind of spraying if, if you're doing paint or powder coating or anything else you don't want any moisture in your line any moisture at all now you can use they have these ones with little desiccant packets in it and stuff and those will work a little bit for a while and then you run through those but again if you are you know a small time shop trying to work your way up and you want to start painting car bodies again this is yet another tool to help you get started to you know make that leap from you know garage you know shade tree mechanic or car painter to maybe something a little bit more professional and working your way up you know stepping stones or as i like to call it the ladder method and that is you buy the tool that will get the job done now and if you buy them right you buy them when they're on sale like you know you see this thing here 399 dollars central pneumatics industrial blah, blah blah funny you know i've been looking at them 20 percent off coupons in fact I, I think there's one coming out here we got the super bowl sale going on let's see what it says there in does fine prints and that is one per customer any one item cannot be used with discounts coupons or any other uh, following items or brands inside track club extended service plan gift card open box three-day parking lot sale compressors well this isn't a compressor it doesn't compress anything floor jacks safe sawmills storage cabinets you know, you gotta look on that sawmill chests or carts trailers trenches and wenches welders okay i put through the wenches part in there Admiral, Ames, uh, Cobra, Covert Pro, Daytona. Well, there's the C's for you. No, I don't see anything. Well, guys, as I was saying, I don't see anything that says you can't use that 20 or if you find one of those 25% off coupons. But even at 20% off, this 10 will get you 40, 20 will get you 80. That takes this thing down to 320. That's damn affordable for a shop tool that'll make you money. One good job will pay for that. And then after that, you're doing some real professional work. There you have it, guys. The top 10 outrageously expensive tools from Harbor Freight that you never knew you needed. Anyway, I'm going back to bed. Hopefully next week the bear will be at 100%. Till then, don't forget to like and subscribe. Ring the bell. Make sure you get the notifications. And as always, my friends, shine on. Have a good weekend, y'all.